Hello, we're at Presita, our turning and cylindrical grinding plant. Today we're going to show you a very interesting application showcasing eccentric turning, which we will be demonstrated on a TD45Y 1350. Lathes are machines designed to machine round parts, but nowadays these machines don't only turn. They can also mill, drill, thread, broach, and offer many more capabilities. For that reason, many of our customers purchase our machines with a Y-axis complete with driven tooling, which as you already know, on CMZ lathes, can reach 12,000 revolutions per minute. This time, we are going to show you another of the virtues of machines fitted with a Y-axis, which is that they make eccentric turning much easier. Specifically, we will see how to turn this eccentric helix by interpolation between the X, Y, C, Z axes. To do eccentric turning, the x-axis has to go up and down for each revolution. This generates strong accelerations in the x-axis and limits the maximum revolutions at which we can eccentric turn. As we can't reach the cutting speed recommended by the insert, the surface finish and the life of the insert are at stake. That's why a solution has to be found to maximize the revolutions and consequently, the cutting speed. The solution is to describe circles on the XY plane. Moving the axes describing circles on the XY plane provides eccentric turning. By describing circles, the movements of the X axis and the Y axis are sinusoidal, which minimizes the accelerations of the axes. With this technique, we can eccentric turn at higher revolutions. In this application, we are turning an eccentric worm. We don't only turn eccentric. With each revolution we are changing the angle and the eccentric generating this very curious worm. We are interpolating the X, Y, Z, C axes. We hope you enjoyed the video. This really is a very curious application which we thought would be interesting to share with you. Don't miss our upcoming videos to find out about all the features of CMZ lathes. Thank you.